What's going on everyone, I'm the OP Jillison and I'm here with week 2 of the WPL against the New York Norbirds coached by Storm Place 71 His information will be in the description of the video so I would definitely recommend checking his channel out if you want to see his view of the match and he also does some other Pokemon content so definitely would do that but we are here for week 2 and this is a pretty interesting battle is all I'm going to say um, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil the outcome but there were some hacks on both sides um, let's just get right into it so uh, I'm running Leftovers Tailglow Manaphy, uh, Bandidente, Scarf, Braviary. Uh, this is actually Swarm Heracross, I don't know why I didn't put Guts on it, which is kind of bad because he does have a status on his team. And then uh, Mega Gardevoir here, standard, uh, Focus Blast to hit the Mega Aggron, and then I believe this is uh, Life Orb Curum, I believe, so let's, ch let's check this bench out. So immediately I lead off with Braviary, hoping to catch like the, uh, this right here, but he immediately throws off a Thunder Wave, and here I'm like, okay, I have to get rid of this thing, I just have to attack. He's probably going to get up webs, and here the hacks already starts happening. He gets the full para on turn one, and now this thing is free to T-Wave everything when it comes back in later. So, he, vo I volts, he volts with this out, and into this Bronzong as I throw off a Dragon Claw, which is what I went for again. Uh, but here, I just I, this is a, another big threat to my team, and since this is already paralyzed, I really don't have any use for it. See, he's gonna get this rock, so I'm just weakening the bronze zone. One of, if it's heat proof, it uh, counters my Entei, it counters my Heracross. So I really want to weaken this thing into range of those attacks, so... I'm just fusion bolting there, as you can see he got, um... Another para. So... Right now, not looking good, and there's the third para, and... Right now, I ha really have to knock out this. I can live one more Gyro Ball. So I go for the fusion bolt, it's gonna bring him down a little. And he goes for the Gyro Ball again. I live on two, and... Here, I uh, get what I want, and I crit him, and he goes down. Honestly, deserved after I got paralyzed. Three out of six turns, which is kind of ridiculous. He's going to bring out this here, as he's just going to side shock and knock me out. I did click Iron Head, hoping I could outspeed, but he might have some speed on there. As here, I can just come in with Braviary and get rid of all these hazards. So he throws off the Moon Blast, which surprisingly does over 50%. So, here I can go out into Entei. And surprisingly, he lets this thing get wear worn down all the way, I get with the... Sacred Fire, and he's only doing 28% of Psy Shock, so not really sure about that play, but we are able to just knock it out. Honestly, he made the good play by second, because Como could get burned. Here I go for Sacred Fire, hoping I can burn, because if he starts to, to Dragon Dance, that could be a problem. But he just goes straight for the Earthquake and knocks me out, so right now it's looking pretty even, but he does just sack this thing off. It really can't Dragon Dance sweep with this Gardevoir around, so. Uh, here, I make a questionable play by going out into Braviary. If he didn't click T-Wave there, I would have been able to uh, knock him out, but he just clicked Discharge, so... I just go right back into Gardevoir here, as I believe he... Yep, he's just relying on T-Wave at this point. It's kind of ridiculous, if you ask me, but... I'm able to Hyper Voice that thing, and then out comes this, and fortunately, I'm able to break through here and knock him out, but... You see, uh, at this point, Tailglow Manaphy pretty much just won the game. I, I kind of wish I missed that Focus Blast so I could go Manaphy and preserve a 2-0. But as you guys are going to see here, I taunt him so we can't start combining up. As he just throws off a Psy Shock, I get paralyzed as he throws off a Psy Shock, so I'm really not doing any work to this. Finally get my Hyper Voice off and weaken him into the, into the range of the Mega Horn. And he clicks Psy Shock and taunt ends, and of course I can't get my second taunt off. So now he's free to recover whatever he wants. So it's not over yet, especially since you guys will see right here. I got into Heracross and I miss my Mega Horn. So... Uh, this Psy Shock is going to do a lot of damage. If, we, if it knocks me out, I have a chance to lose because Manaphy does, um, has to Tail Glow up twice and if he double crits me with Psy Shock, I lose the match. So I have to live this as I do on 98 and I'm just able to Mega Horn and take the game. So honestly, it's, it's a 1-0 because the Heracross got not gone, went down to Life War, but honestly, it should have been more because even though I crit the Bronzong, he paralyzed my Kyurem three times. And I would have been able to knock out the Galvantula, which um, in turn wouldn't have been able to para everything. And I believe he went paralyzed my Gardevoir a few times. And I missed that Megahorn, so it would have been a 2 0 at the least. But um, either way, GG to Storm. I'm honestly glad we won, even with all the hacks. It would have been a little annoying to lose to, to that. But uh, we do manage to take a victory and go 2 0. Uh, next week we do fight Slaybait, Coach of the Charlotte Houndooms. Uh, once again, go to the description and check out Storm, and I will see you next time. Bye.